Hi guys, Wandersun here. Today I am bringing you another finished project. This user interface was inspired by the Dracula theme created by also Brazilian, Zeno Rocha. Responsible for creating one of the most famous themes today, and which currently supports over 170 applications. This interface is fully responsive and supports multiple themes that can be easily created using Qt Stylesheet, which is very similar to CSS. This project was based on PySide 6 and Python 3.9. On May 1st this interface will be available for free to download on GitHub. However, it is already available with early access for Patreon supporters. Thank you very much to my more than 50 supporters today. Thanks to all of you I can dedicate more time to create projects like this. That said, I will show you step by step how to use the main tools of this interface as well as create new pages. This first feature is to enable or disable a custom title bar. Disabling this function you can use the standard system title bar, such as Windows, Linux or Mac OS. In this second option you can find the name of your application and a description that will appear at the top left of the application. The next function is to enable or disable the left menu bar in order not to be expanded. The next option is to configure all the functions of the interface, leave the file UI funtions.py only for the functions related to the user interface. In this file you will find all the functions, such as maximizing and restoring, expanding and hiding the side boxes and much more. This line is just to set the queue table widget as responsive within the interface. When clicked it is possible to retrieve your name and set a function using that name or ID. In this case, when clicked, it changes the current page, deselects all the selected buttons and selects the button that was just clicked. In the last line, just print the name of the clicked button on the terminal. Now I will teach you how to create a new page within the application using Qt Designer 6, version available together with PySide 6. Select the stacked widget, navigate to the page you want, and then right-click on the widget choose the option Insert Page after Current Page. I will add a label and centralize it within the application just as a reference for viewing. With that done, I renamed this page that we just created, this is fundamental for us to choose it using Python in the back end. To export this code, just go to the view Python code function. A new script window will open containing the PySide 6 modules. If an error happens, just go to the PySide 6 folder and create a folder called bin and add the file uic.exe inside it. This executable is located inside the PySide 6 root folder. Go back to Qt Designer and export this project with the name uimain.py inside the modules folder. You can replace the file, just taking care not to overwrite any other files. Open this file that we are able to save and create by changing the imposed line for the file from Resources RC, Import All.
The next step is to configure the button so that when clicked open this new page. I will use BTN new for this option. Just copy and paste his name or ID as shown in the video. After that inside the function button click, we will identify this button by its name and assign functions to it, in this case it will change the current page to the one we choose. Use the name of the page we just created as shown in the video and paste it in the location indicated as shown in the video. This next function will deselect all buttons. The last function will select the button that was just clicked. And when we run our application we can see that everything is working correctly. As a way to fix this information I will add a function to the save button. When it is clicked it will print a message on the terminal. See that when clicked it prints a message on the terminal of our application. After the function of displaying our application, we have another function which is to choose a theme. You can change this function as you wish as well as any of the other functions of the interface. This function will load a QSS file that is similar to CSS. This function must always be after the self-show function. In set hacks, I created some additional functions to manually change the style of some widgets. The QSS unfortunately suffers from inheritance problems where it ends up receiving improperly the styles of its parents. With this function you can create a hack for this and also for the functions of selecting the menu buttons and the box to the right of the application. Use the app functions file to create other functions for your application. We finished here another video. Thank you all very much and remembering that this project is now available with early access for all Patreon supporters. And from the 1st of May it will be available free of charge to everyone on the GitHub website. All links are in the description. An extra information is that if you would like to know how to change the contents inside the hidden box, just change the minimum width to 240 or some other value as shown in the video. And before exporting your application do not forget to reset these values. Thanks to all Patreon supporters. See you in the next video.